Fear of another breach at Piney Point is constant for the team managing the environmental nightmare, and the bill you're paying for it is skyrocketing. We found out the tab is already approaching $80 million, and while drilling an injection well to drain the stacks could start next month, not everyone likes that idea. Eight on your side, investigator Walt Buteau with details. And that total does not include the bill for finally closing Piney Point, which is expected to add at least another $100 million. And there's still a no-win debate about the cost of the environment, no matter what happens next. Even without final approval for that deep well, a drilling rig is already set up across the street from Piney Point, where from the air you can see one of the site's four stacks has now been drained. Our public records request reveals since August, more than $400,000 has been spent trucking stack water to a treatment facility. Another $17 million spent treating water at the site, where a string of water evaporating aerators is also aimed at lowering the levels here. The stack that ruptured eight months ago, prompting the decision to release more than 200 million gallons into the bay, still holds about 250 million gallons. From Drone 8, you can see water in that stack looks relatively low, but the court-ordered receiver managing Piney Point's closure is nervous about another rupture. Do you worry about that every day? <laughs> every day and every night. It's, it's a constant threat. $71 million has been spent managing Piney Point through the beginning of this month. Jackie Lopez from the Center for Biodiversity. And that's not even including closure. Like you said, that's just to make sure nothing worse happens. Right now, the plan is to drill that deep well like this one to inject Piney Point wastewater about 3,300 feet into the ground. Donica tells me with final approval, the drilling could start as early as next month. So we're going down probably a half a mile further than the drinking water aquifer. But people are scared and critical. How do you answer that? Well, look at the science and then look at the history. The science and history unproven, according to Lopez, who says there's already evidence of contamination in Piney Point monitoring wells. Best case scenario, we're putting untreated the toxic waste underground. I mean, that's that's crazy. Lopez and others say they prefer reverse osmosis, which forces water through a filtration system. But that failed at Piney Point in 2003, according to Donica, who tells me one problem is 30% of the water is rejected and so toxic, regulations will not allow disposal. So you're stuck with it. So it doesn't get you to the finish line. Lopez recalls that reverse osmosis did work back when Piney Point was a new problem 20 years ago, and she hopes there's at least an open, transparent dialogue before the drilling actually starts, if it does start next month. And you're talking December for drilling to start, so when would you actually see the water being pumped at 3,300 feet below ground? When's so that if, go? if there's no disruptions, that would happen by June at a rate of about 1.2 million gallons a day. But even with that, the draining and capping of the stack is expected to take about four years, then another 50 years to monitor the water that drains from those piles of material that now hold the water. So that final chapter for Piney Point may be longer than the book itself. I mean, 50 years from now, as you said, and longer we than we're all here. alive. There'll be no follow-ups. <laughs> uh, 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 you won't be doing the follow-up, follow and I won't be doing it. But I have a feeling somebody will. Somebody you got to stay yeah. on top of it. Thank you, Walt. All right. And if you have something you'd like Walt to investigate, call our 8 on your side helpline at 800-338-0808.